Captain on the bridge. All right, Captains, we are back here on the bridge. And today we've got some things to go over from the Star Trek Online official Twitter feed. So on screen. Yes, so Captains, before we get into this video, I'd like to wish everyone a happy Friday, happy weekend, but also subscribe to the YouTube bridge. We are always on the lookout for like-minded captains so that we can enjoy Star Trek slash Star Trek online content together here on the YouTube bridge. So we have these two things to go over that I'd like to go and give my two ECs on. So we will do that as we go along. So here we go. Say 50% on a lifetime subscription and 75% on almost everything in the MUDS market this weekend on PC. So let's go to the article here. Again, this is what this is the Manticore. This is the T6 ship that you will get if you get this lifetime subscription. It's a command ship, not a full command, but still a command ship that gives you access to concentrate firepower three. It is a very good ship, solid, solid ship in my opinion. And we've already done a couple of builds on that, one from I believe last year, definitely. And it still holds up in my opinion. But here we go, so save 50% on lifetime and 75% in MUDs. So hailing all captains, we are pleased to announce a sale on lifetime subscriptions starting January 27, and it goes to the 30th, so it's just this weekend, Caps. The Star Trek Online lifetime subscription will be 50% off on PC. Now is the perfect time to pick up a lifetime subscription to stow. Enjoy all the rewards that come with being a lifetime subscriber with exclusive species unlocks like playable Talaxian species, because that's the selling point of this. <laughs> Instant access to all lifetime rewards to priority login. There are dozens of reasons to become a lifetime subscriber today. For more information on all great rewards that come with being a subscriber, check out our blog here. For more information on how to claim and use your lifetime rewards, click here. This link does not work, so I would not even bother. I tried it and it doesn't work. Subscribe, PC, click the button below. And that's not all. During this special sale, everything in MUDS market except the bundles will be 75% off. Enjoy great savings on MUDS ill-gotten goods, including dinosaurs that shoot lasers, special ships, and more. Retail inclusion, effective September 23, 2010, lifetime subscription covers your subscription fee as long as the game is in service. Promotional discounts and features do not apply. I think this is like a standard message. You'll be charged immediately when purchasing a lifetime subscription. Subscription fees are non-refundable. So just keep that in mind, Caps. They're non-refundable. Once you get this, you're committed. We make no explicit or implicit warranties on the service period of the game. So that's something to think about. Definitely 100%. So what I'd like to do is also now go over this link here that was given in that blog. And of course, we'll leave the link of this and the others in the description below. So become a lifetime captain at $299.99. So essentially 300 bucks. So 50%, that's 150. I bought this at like $200 in 2014. And to be honest, I'll leave that till the end. I'll leave that to the end. But here we go. Let's just go over this first and then I'll leave my conclusion to the end if it's worth it or not. Is your mission in Star Trek Online a continuing one? If so, a lifetime subscription is a great way to subscribe to Star Trek Online at one low price. You can play Star Trek Online forever as a gold member and never pay a monthly subscription fee. Again, this is not a thing anymore anyways. But the perks of a lifetime subscription extend beyond just a great savings opportunity. We've also bundled in special features for lifetime subscribers as tokens of appreciation. Here are some of the benefits we've extended to our lifetime players. Take a look at the selection below and click the button at the bottom of the page to see all the rewards. So here's some of them here. Base character slots set to 13, base inventory slots set to 144, base bank slots set to 204, base account shared bank slots set to 40, base dry dock slots set to 15, Additional bridge officer slots, up to 16 total slots at level 65. 500 Zen each month. We're gonna come back to that later, Caps. Increased energy credit storage limit. So again, I believe the limit is like 1 million. With this, it's literally 2 billion now per character. 
if I'm not mistaken. 800 dilithium refinement every 24 hours. So that is on top of the 8,000 daily you have as a limit. One captain retrain token per rank. Priority login. Access to our test server. So that's Tribble. Anytime you see us mention Tribble, that sometimes we have actually made videos from Tribble. That is what it means our test servers play as a liberated borg i would have to say this is cool i do have one tune it is a side tune my only side tune and i'm glad to have them and i would say that's kind of a plus and bonus play as a talaxian race not gonna happen for me access to the captain's table a special area restricted to lifetime subscribers access to a wide variety of additional rewards see below for more info so again, we're gonna go over here, additional info here. So we know you have a lot of options when it comes to how you spend your time. That's why it means so much to us that you choose to spend it with Star Trek Online. To show our appreciation, we put together these great rewards for anyone who becomes a lifetime subscriber. So titles, is it, I don't really, this does nothing for me personally, but you get these, Career Officer, Stalwart Accolade, Redoubtable Accolade, Dauntless, Valiant, Relentless, Magnificent, The Impressive, Vigilant, Guardian, Starfleet Veteran, Empire Veteran, Republic Veteran. Costume wise, automatically unlocked at any tailor. So costume piece, Veteran Badge. Costume piece, Special Veteran Uniform Option. Odyssey Uniform, Veteran Jacket. It's kind of a longer coat, three quarter type coat. Borski Uniform, Veteran Jacket. Exclusive Content, costume piece, bed, Jupiter uniform variant, KDF shoulder cape, ROM Romulan Admiral uniform. All ships can be found in the ship requisition store at your faction hub, Earth Space Dock Kronos, Romulan Flotilla, Deep Space Nine. So unique small craft, one per faction, captain's yacht, the Dujhud chariot, I, I probably said that wrong, Commander's Gig Romulan. And now they should actually update this to have a gem Hadar, but. So here's the ship. So T6. Now you also have the T5 version, but they're all just this is right here. So the T6 Manticore Heavy Destroyer, which is the tier 6 version of the tier 5 Chimera Heavy Destroyer. The Duvku Heavy Destroyer. That is the Peg Ku Heavy Destroyer for KDF. So that's a T6 version. And then T6 Danaeus Heavy Destroyer as the Roman version of the Tier 5 Danaeus Heavy Destroyer. Exclusive Starship Veteran Material. Automatically available in the ship customization area. Vice Admiral Ship Token. T5 Ship Upgrade Token. Claimable once per account. Will arrive in the mail once per account. Claim it on the character you'd like to use it on. So make sure if you decide to do this, Captains, you get that on the your main captain now they have added a raw a gem hadar ship here so a tier six gem hadar ship so keep that in mind there's four here ships that you get with this items so four retrain tokens once per account automatically granted to your account base ship slots we went over that already base costume slots increased to six bed fashion specific ev suit so this is actually something you can get once per character claimable via a special console at your fashion hub, Earth Space Dock, Deep Space Nine, Kornos, Roman and Fatilla. The KDF fashion specific EV suit. So again, once per character at for the Kornos, I would say not Earth Space Dock. Romulan fashion EV suit, once per account, claimable via special console. So the Romulans will have access to either or when you pick your faction side. Android bridge officer once per character claimable at the bridge officer store at your fashion hub. Got to companion, it's a little white monkey. Once per character claimable at the Mugatu trainer on Deep Space Nine. Other, you have some fireworks. So kind of the fireworks you saw at the end of Voyager when she reached home. Once per character claimable at the special console at your fashion hub. A 5% skill point and officer skill point boost for you and your team automatically unlocked for all characters. 1,000 Dilithium Refinement every 48 hours. Doff mission available at the Veteran Dilithium Refiner. Contact at your Fashions Academy. So that is the rewards that you get. 
for being a lifetime subscriber. Now, the other thing it doesn't say here, you do get an automatic refinement of your dilithium if you have ore backed up. So that's 8,000 on all your characters. So let's say if you don't log on for two days, once you log on, boom, 16K ore dilithium refined to refined. So that is the other perk. I It's great. I have no problems recommending this bundle for that or this stow lifetime subscription for that because on the console i have to automatically do that the ships i would say are to me worth it they're they're good ships they're they are good ships and the chimera or the here this ship here the manticore is the actual ship that nog uses in game as his ship so it's kind of a nice nod the other two ships or that's the three ships i should say for the dominion kdf and rom are similar and again are, are good ships any ship is good you know that captains i always say that it just depends on how you synergize your build and it does have a cool mission pod here that i absolutely quite like so i i would say you get literally eight uh, seven ships i guess plus the shuttles because the gem hadar doesn't have a tier 5 version so it's something that you can mess around about, give your alts to have at least a good, decent ship in game. So it's worth it that way for me. I've enjoyed flying these ships for a good period of time. They were flying these and sometimes I do go back to the Manticore as that it is a very good, solid ship in my opinion. Now, when it comes to saying if it's worth it, that's gonna be up to you Caps. So the 500, zen that you get monthly okay if you get this at 150 dollars so that's 50 percent okay in zen wise that is 15,000 zen okay so to make it to get that back in zen is going to take you about two years and six months to keep that in mind now i've said many times now especially with the stow ships going into Star Trek that this game has gotten a boost from that and I'd say minimum of three years to five maybe even beyond even if all the Star Trek the current Star Trek now as of this video were to stop I think stow could still pluck a lot of storylines from the shows that have gone this far but keep in mind, Caps, we have so much Star Trek happening right now. So Discovery, Picard, Stranger Worlds, Lower Decks, Prodigy. That's five shows going on. We've never had that. And we are seeing the fruits of that relationship, Sto and Star Trek, come into the game via the ships, of course, the voice actors. I would think in the near future, we were gonna, are gonna get more. We just had Gates McFadden, AKA Dr. Beverly Crusher, of course, Emperor Will, Wesley, Emperor, that's Will Wheaton, of course, Chase Masterson, we've had Jordy, we've had Worf. We've had so many, many veteran legacy Star Trek actors come to Star Trek Online. And with this recent episode, as of this video for the Fujiwara effect, I'd have to say that's the peak Star Trek Online episode up to this point. And I would say that we're in a, in for a lot more of those within the next three, five, I don't know, 10 years, but it's at least, at least three to five in my opinion. As long as the shows keep going, as long as the shows are successful, we're gonna get content here in Star Trek Online. So again, keep in mind that to get back in Zen, the $150, that you spent, it's going to take two and a half years to get that back. So that's 500 every month. And if you do decide to get it, the first time, the second th two, three times you get it in the first two, three months, I'd say keep a record of when you get that Zen so that if by chance, because I've heard this happen before, if it boils over skips, you can report that to customer support and say, hey, I didn't get my lifetime Zen here. So 
the other things to here like i said the playable borg i mean that's a cool thing extra slots it's always good you're gonna need it again i made this decision 2014 would i make it now if i'm starting now if i had the same love for star trek that i do and star trek online i probably would because the benefits for me work and i have been playing this game and once i like a game i know i like it right that's but again that's why i say it's individual if it's a game that you come back ever so often or play casually or you put in your rotation of the games that you play that again is up to you right but know that if you're out three months you come back you're gonna have 1500 zen waiting there for you right so that's things to think about i highly still recommend it at this point as of this video january 2023 because of all the star trek that we have going on that is one of the major things that i totally do recommend is at this point to get this if you find it's worth it for you and you plan on really just playing the game for the sake of playing it and because and you enjoy star trek so that's my two ECs on that. The last thing that we're gonna do here is head over to the Stow Bridge here. And I'm gonna go quickly over the mud store sale that we have going on. So we're just gonna go through each tab and what I think is worth worth not or not worth it. Now, this is of course after post those nerfs that we had to one of the consoles here of these ships. All these ships I have because all of these ships have been event rewards. And that's why we made that video of how to get ships in 2023. Because these event ships, if you miss out on them, they will come back. But they'll come in the mud store and they're going to be overly priced. Now, I believe this is a fair price when it's on sale. But not for the price of 17,000 Zen, which I think is just a joke. So anytime you buy something from the mud store, just wait for a sale, Captains. Now, the one console in particular that was nerfed back last year was the console that came onto the ship. From what I hear, it's still okay and a viable console. I'm not a Saifu captain, but I'm glad I have this ship because it is kind of unique actually. And when it comes to that console, I have used it when I was put in a Psy build-ish by others. Because that's kind of the only thing that it would be useful for the Sai build. But again, I'm not necessarily a Sai Fu captain. Again, would I recommend the ship now? It's it's again, it's up to you if that is what you want. The ship itself, I do have another use for this. I was, which makes sense. But th that'll probably be something we do in the future. But again, I only have this because it was an event reward for the summer event. The, sorry, the Bentham Cruise I don't have. This was a tier 5 ship that turned into a tier 6 that they put in here. I, I just don't like the look of it, so I don't recommend it. Any of the other ships here, this one, this one's going to actually be in Star Trek Picard. And I've used it maybe once. I don't actually think I've used it, actually, to be honest with you. We may have to revisit that and make a video on that. I don't think we've gone to this. We did do a recent video on this. I like this ship. It, it's kind of like the space Batmobile, in my opinion. Now, the Rizian Corvette, you probably heard this for ships that have experimental slots. This does have the wave, the Sultan Wave Impeller, which is a good, and I believe still a high-performing experimental weapon. Visually, it's not even invasive too. So for me, that works if I have to put it. But now I've found my experimental weapon for at least my main and that'll be coming down in the video soon. So it doesn't apply to bundles, the 75% sale, but to space items. The Imperial Rift set, I'm hearing it's a good set for Psy builds, for Psy Fu captains. I, again, I have this set because I already got it from the event. Is it worth it that? Again, it, this depends on your build and how you're playing. It is cool. I will say that with the four piece, you get this wicked cool sort of beam weapon visual that opens up a rift so i have build ideas for that that we'll explore in the future but that again is 
for me, I got this because it was an event reward. Anything else here, it's hard for me to really recommend because I have them, but I rarely use them. And if I do use them, it's because I have them, if that makes sense. But this is where you can get access to the Temporal Vortex, the block, Black Ops Mine Launcher, which I do use on my torp builds here and there. Blinded by the Light Pack, well, th this is the Beacon of Kalos where you can call in some reinforcements. Corrosive Plasma Weapon Pack, the Crystal Power Pack, the Prior's World Satellite of Doom. Again, good item for me on new alts. Reiner Structural Capacitor, and of course the Voth Power Subcore. Again, all of these were event rewards. Now, ground items all would be for Space Barbie and some combat weapons. So the Civilian 2399 outfit, of course, is Seven of Nines outfit. I do like this. I have it. This was given for free, so I have access to it. The Starfleet 2399, of course, is the Picard uniform. I like it. If this, if you find it worth for you, at least it's going to be here as an option. The Alliance Kimmer bundle, again, something that we got for free, but it is here. Crystal Barrier of Death Pack. This is useful on an alt of mine, but I don't really use it a lot. Here's the dino with the freaking lasers. It's cool to have, I'll say that. Dot seven, I rarely use this. Evil Lorca's armor, got this from an event, I believe. So it's gonna be here. It's about time pack. So these are old rewards that they took out. So the Avidian Kane and Shard of Possibilities. And of course the Riemann and Bridge Officers here our brain bridge officers so again up to you i have these already molo sword i like it because it's a flaming sword who doesn't like a flaming sword i do i did give that to my kdf emh bridge officer i don't have this so this is the one thing i don't have the one thing i did buy from this store is the jordy laforge buff and i don't regret it at least all of my tunes all my federation tunes can have a jordy laforge and with him coming back in season two picard, season three picard Totally, totally happy that I have them. This is also your chance to get the TOS crew. I have this. I had to buy this with keys way back when this was a thing that first came out, but at least now it's here as an option. Of course, if you're looking to get your immersion on and if your TOS is your favorite thing, it is here for you. The Red Angel suit. So this has helped me a lot, especially my alts. If you die wearing the suit, you get an automatic revive. There's a cooldown on it, but you get revived automatically. And it's kind of cool. You kind of glide through the battlefield when you're actually in it. It does have attacks in it. And of course we saw it on screen. Is it worth it? I, I, there are better sets out there in my opinion. The Emancipator outfit. Of course, if you want to have a top hat, there you go. You know, the kits. This was bugged for me from day one. So I've, I've never really used it. And then the weapon pack cyclic modulation weaponry i use this personally on a lot of tunes that i need to get the specific weapon damage so phaser disruptor anti-proton plasma it does all the weapon types and all you have to do is literally hit a button and it'll cycle through all those weapon types is it worth it for that i bought some on console my console account i bought some weapons from the from the exchange and i'm doing fine without it so that again is up to you if this is worth it because it's still 2000 then i would rather use my zen to be honest captains more on ships than anything as opposed to this this is the reason why i bought this is i had access zen before and i thought again it would be cool to have jordy as my boss so a little bit longer video that i thought it wasn't going to be now one last thing that I would love to give my two ECs on before the weekend closes. So we head back here to the Twitter page. Now, what I'm going to do is play the video in case that it gets copyrighted. And then I'll just go over and I'll take that out if anything. But then I'll give my two ECs on it because Star Trek Online also tweeted this out. More pretty shots of Our Lady leading the charge. And of course, they're talking about the Enterprise E in the shot. So we're gonna play this. Again, we'll drop the two ECs afterwards. And then we'll give our conclusions. So here we go. There 
is something coming. Old friends and allies standing together again. Battle station. Reuniting to accomplish a shared mission and defeat an adversary unlike any other. We will have vengeance. An opponent wielding great power, determined to disrupt everything. And down the sideline he goes! This is storybook! And this place is absolutely going wild! Trying to elude the pressure, and now he's gonna take off and run it. He'll have a touchdown! Now is the time to resist. Knowing your destiny must not be denied. Because this decides everything. This is the end, my friend. Star Trek Picard, the final season streams on February 16th. See the world premiere of the official trailer next week at halftime of the AFC Championship on CBS. Oof. Again, if this video gets cut out, or I have to edit it out because of copyright issues, that's okay. I'll put the link below, of course, to the Twitter feed so that you can watch the videos yourself, Captains. But I'd like to go over this quickly. So we watch this, and of course, we have Picard there and Mr. Will. Deanna there, looking all Deanna E. And of course, this is what they're talking about the shot of the Enterprise. I'll put the volume down here. Flying across the screen quickly. So that was a quick little shot, but we've already covered that. And anything more that we, I think I am gonna have one video on the Odyssey coming up here as soon as we get some of the other videos we wanna get out here on the YouTube bridge, but I am i can't wait. And I hope that when we get this, it's going to be just a free skin. I, I don't need another sh Odyssey. I just want the skin. Let me just have the skin, please. But again, this is taken prior to our current timeline in Star Trek Online. So this is the skin before the Yorktown. The Yorktown skin of the Odyssey is actually the upgrade and refit of this version here. So just keep that in mind. But I still want this because this has some new features here. And we'll go over that, of course, when we make that video in the future. But again, lovely shot of the Odyssey. Of course, there's football here. I don't. And there you go. Ah, yes, yes, yes. See, again, this is what I was talking about earlier. It And when, when it comes to the subs lifetime subscription, we are having existing Star Trek legacy characters come into Star Trek Online. And of course, recently, we just had Gates McFadden, and AKA Beverly Crusher, and of course, Geordi as well. And this is, for me, again, I'm, I'm happy I bought that Geordi buff because well, he's here. He's on screen. And now we have him as a buff. Or we can make him sort of like a captain companion, you know, accompanying our captains on mission. So super happy about that. Would be nice if we can get Will. Of course, it would be nice if we can get Picard here. But some, some good scenes here. Of course, it shows the psychotic enemy that we're going to be going up against. That's just, she, she gives me the, the weird, creepy vibe. So that should be really good. I still don't think it's a galactic threat of what they were saying in season two, but whatever floats their, their plot. Some cool fight scenes here. Of course, the one thing that we wanted to point out, oh, of course, well, the other thing, seven. Mm. Sorry, don't tell the Admiral. And the shot of Jordy there. And this, look at this pew pew scene. That is just ridiculous. I believe we're gonna have a lot of, I feel like there's an, a lot of emphasis on pews this season. And, you know, re, last year we had Bill Krauss on the bridge here with an interview and he mentioned that he's gonna have another ship there in Star Trek Picard season three that he made other than the Titan. And by hook or by career captains, we are getting the Titan. I don't care, we're, we're getting it. I guarantee we'll get it. I have a box waiting for it. So this was cool. The enemy ship, I, that enemy ship, I'm sure is going to come to Star Trek Online too as well. Probably most likely Promor in, or a lockbox ship. But you can see here this awesome sequence here of, of it firing for, photon torpedoes. And the camera work is amazing here. And of course, Will saying that this is the end. And there you go. So. I thought I'd go over that because again, why not? I put the Odyssey image of the 
redone Odyssey 4 Picard there on the thumbnail. So, we, of course, we had to spend some time here. And, of course, I just got that from Thomas's online picture of the Odyssey because that's his actual header on his Twitter feed. So, I just wanted to go over that because why not? We have the time. It's the weekend. So, super excited for that. So, again, Captains, that is the video here. Thought we would just go over the lifetime subscription if, to see if it's worth it for you, especially coming into 2023. I will say it again, I, I highly recommend it. If, if you're going to be playing this game for another two and a half years to at least get your Zen worth back from the monthly 500 Zen that you will get. So just wanted to refresh this to see if there's anything else. And it looks like there was, what is this? So join Lord today, raise money, trans lifeline and win some amazing Star Trek online prizes, including the 11th anniversary bundle. Well, did you look at that? Well, there you go. Glad I re refreshed that. So I'm going to link this Star Trek online Twitter feed in the description below. So here's a chance, Captains, for you to enter and win an 11th anniversary bundle. That is the one that includes the Excelsior, the Narendra, the Vorcha, and the Bop. So just there's that. At least this came in there. We got everything that they included here in today's feed. So like the video, comment below. Let us know your thoughts on the lifetime subscription. Let us know what you think of the sale that's going on. And of course, let us know how you feel about the Enterprise F coming soon. Soon, TM. Of course, Captain, subscribe here to the YouTube Bridge and we will leave it on this note.